After years of major growth, a major slowdown in Wake County schools. The school system only added a few dozen kids this year. CBS 17's Michael Hyland explains why this is happening and what it could mean for you. As school started again this year, administrators in Wake County schools found not as many kids as they expected. Even though Julie McGinnis grew up going to public school in Wake County, her kids go to Ravenscroft, a private school in Raleigh. We wanted to um, put him in a school where, that we knew of and uh, that he would be stable no matter where we lived. It's a growing trend in Wake County. As more families choose private, charter, and homeschooling, the growth in public schools is slowing. Hey, welcome to the first board work session of the new year. Wake school leaders took a closer look Tuesday. They expected an additional 1,900 kids this year. Instead, there are just 42 more. It's not a crisis. It's not uh, any major change, but it is a changing demographics that we need to be thoughtful about. Data from the county shows an aging population and the number of kindergarten age kids dropping each of the last five years. I'm not saying there's not a market share issue, but it's a demographic change, which is the main thing that we see going on with these numbers. Julie says she's seen the anxiety families experience from students getting reassigned to different schools in Wake County. It's something she's glad her kids have avoided. Know that from K all the way through 12 was, was something that was important to us. This slowdown in growth could affect how quickly the county builds new schools. But the school board chair says county leaders still could be coming to you, the taxpayer, for more money to renovate existing schools. In Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News.